Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is March 20th and that means it is day 20 of 30 days of sketches. Today's sketch is by Claudia Henderson. It is this three photo sketch right here. Has lots of embellishment, some tags, and a definite place for a title. I've got my photos, my papers, my kit. So let's see what I can do. All right guys, so I have decided to use that plaid paper in the background and then I've got that printed train paper in the foreground. And these photos are of a miniature train garden that was at the museum part of our Snoqualmie uh, train trip. Now, I know exactly how I want my photos to be placed, um, but I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to decorate them or mat them uh, and things like that. So I'm just trying to figure that out. I do decide to go with this dotted neutral color paper. It is whiter on one side than the other. The other side is more of a cream color. Um, you don't really get to even see the dots and that's fine. It's just a nice neutral color that's going to go with the rest of the layout. So I'm going to get that figured out and get those positioned um, back to basically where I had it before. And I will be absolutely happy with that. Um, and then uh, I am going to figure out the decoration portion and figure out how I want to represent the tags and the florals in the sketch. Now, I will tell you that this kind of layout is probably not one I do a whole heck of a lot uh, with three photos like this, but it is one of my favorite layouts to do. And I know that that sounds weird. You're like, well, if it's one of your favorites, why don't you do it more often? I don't have an answer for you guys. I really don't know. Um, but I really do love the way that three photos kind of positioned like this looked on a page together. It just um, is one of those things that make you happy in your scrapbooking, right? So it's one of those things. So now I am going to pop up all three photos as one uh, on some fun foam here. What that's going to do is give me a little bit of lift on the page because I'm not making these layouts too terribly thick. Um... I don't know if it was a conscious effort or not. Sometimes it was. Sometimes it's just the way it happened. Uh, but I was looking at my pile, uh, and my pile for March is definitely thinner than my pile was for February for the sketches um, that I did in February with Follow a Sketch February. Um, and that's totally cool, right? Like, you can be lumpy sometimes, and you can be flat sometimes. But um, the, the Snoqualmie photos, there are some layouts that are a little bit lumpier than others, but they're not going to um, be super thick, um, which means it's probably not going to fit into, it's probably not going to be in its own album is what it boils down to. Um, and that is cool. <laughs> uh, just got to figure out what albums the 2023 stuff is going in because I haven't even started the 2023 albums, I don't think. Um, I might have, I don't remember you guys, uh, I'd have to go into the room. Now I was doing some torn edges where the florals were, and I thought that that was going to be a good representation of the florals, but I ended up not liking it. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and tear all of the edges and just mat that down over top of the plaid paper. Now that made me happy for two reasons. One, it got rid of that funky torn edge that I wasn't feeling. And two, you get to see more of the plaid paper in the background. And this is uh, one of my favorite plaid papers. It is a paper house paper. And I think paper house is still having a sale right now. And a lot of the papers that were out of stock before are back in stock right now. Um, so if you were waiting for a moment to go get your basics papers from paper house, now's the time. They also have some new papers that I have not... Um, seen before or maybe paid attention to. Some of them look pretty new, so that's exciting. Um, gotta get myself together and place a couple orders here. Um, I have to place a Brutus Monroe order because I'm, I'm running out of some of my mixed media supplies. I need to get my close to my heart order <laughs> um, done. <laughs> I don't know what a hort is, but here we are. I need to get that done. Um, I just got an email asking me if I wanted to do my VIP credit as a credit back to my card or spend it. And I was like, yeah, let's spend it. Um, 
And then I need to place a paper house order to get some of these basics papers that I'm running out of. And I don't know why I'm holding my feet. Like, why am I dragging my feet for um, ordering this stuff when, I, you know, it's stuff that I use regularly and I'm starting to run out of it. So that's a problem. Um, I don't know what it is. And I'm not on a spending freeze or anything like that. And you guys know I don't have a problem buying stuff when I need it. But for some reason, I'm just not doing it. I don't know. Don't have a reason for you. But anyway, um, I am going to use a variety of sticker sheets. I've pulled this all from the kit that I have, and I'm just building up some little bits of clusters. Now, I did use that uh, transportation humper border sticker, and there are things like airplanes and cars and all of that on it, and this is a very specific to a train layout, right? but I'm not stressing over it. The icons are so small. I mean, if you want to get all up in my album and judge me because there might be an airplane on a train layout, you go right ahead, but I really don't care. Um, besides, I like airplanes better than trains anyway. All right, so, um, and enough of that. I was trying to figure out if I needed to put this word play uh, on its own kind of thing to highlight it or if I was just going to leave it on the train paper uh, by itself. I hadn't really figured that out, um, but I do think about using this lovely sticker. Um, spoiler alert, it does not go on this page, but it does make it on another train page. So I do ultimately end up using it, which is kind of cool. Um, today is what? I think today's the 20th. Um, and the Snoqualmie photos are all finished, you guys. I do wrap that up for 30 days of sketches. Um, and I'm moving on to some other things to wrap up the month. Um, I guess, I don't know, was, was I supposed to, I don't know if I've shared that already or I've said I was going to finish the Snoqualmie laid out so 30 days of sketches. I can't remember what I said. But anyway, I do get them finished. So hooray for me. That portion of uh, the scrapbooking I wanted to get done is finished. And um, I am scrapbooking things that happened just last year in 2023. And yes, I have uh, 2021 20, and 2022 to finish. I don't think I've barely even worked on 2022 at all, but I don't feel like I'm behind. And that's because I have a lot of memories I want to scrapbook and hopefully a lot of time left in my life. And I will scrapbook them as I see fit and complete the projects as I see fit and do them as I see fit. Um, my project li list might get long, but I, I, I don't really ever feel behind. And I saw someone post on uh, Facebook the other day about how they were ready to just pack it all in and give up scrapbooking completely uh, because they just felt so overwhelmed because they were so behind. And I was like, who says you're behind? Nobody says you're behind. You're putting their own pressure on yourself. And I just told her to look at it as what I just said, that you have a lot of memories that you want to scrapbook and you scrapbook them as, as you can and as you want to, right? Um, it's, it's hard enough where there are people telling you how to scrapbook and now we're putting that pressure on ourselves that we're so behind or we got to get those things done. And I even did it to myself the other day. Like I was putting off sharing my cruise layouts because I hadn't print photos yet and I was like you know what I'm just gonna, it feels a little weird but who cares I'm gonna I'm gonna share those layouts um and I'm glad I did now I've got you know that out there and and people can kind of see my vision for those layouts and and hopefully they liked some of them and I even got some feedback about one of the stencils I was trying out so the only thing now I am I am truly behind in is for the business and that's getting that stencil up on the website so people can buy it um, but my scrapbooking not behind not behind at all okay so after saying all that um, I am going to finish this title it's play with trains um, and then I'm going to use uh, these little wooden train uh, pieces right here that came from MK shop and I'm going to get those on the layout now those two little cars also go with this um the engine and the secondary car but the coal car and the wood car are not going to make it on this layout they do make it onto a different layout so they get used up just not together 
Now, again, I feel like I'm using a lot of tags lately on this layout, but I figured out the reason why. I had a whole page of tags. So it was either front or back, it was tags. So no matter what, I had to use them, right? Like that's, it just came to me. You might have been thinking this the whole time. Duh, Sandy, you have an entire page that is just tags. It's just a cut apart of tags. So of course you're going to use them. But it, I just had the epiphany, okay? Sometimes I'm a little bit slow. Um, but I did decide to put the tags on this layout. They are definitely called out for in the sketch. Um, and I decided to double them up and place them on two places on the layout. And again, I'm just showing the decorative part here. I am not showing any of the uh, journaling card or the, the full facing of a decorative tag because I don't need it. I just need that little extra bit of decoration uh, around the edges of these photos here. So I will get those uh, placed on there. And then of course, I'm gonna tie a couple bows and put those in there too because of the no naked tag holes, <laughs> which I almost screwed up royally the other day. Um, it was during the voiceover I realized I had never tied a bow for the naked tag hole. And it was, it was, <laughs> it was an abysmal day, you guys, seriously. Um, so I'm gonna use that crochet thread. I'm just gonna tie um, or cut off a couple lengths of that, tie a bow up in the air, and um, get that done. Um, sometimes the crochet thread gets a little fiddly. It likes to twist, um, which is a pain in the tuchus sometimes. Uh, so I just got to start and retie that bow so it doesn't twist up as much as it likes to. But um, it's real easy, right? And crochet thread is cheap. Um, I got this thing on clearance, but even before it was on clearance, it was cheap and it's, it's gonna last forever. Um, it lasts longer than embroidery thread, than, than a little um, length of embroidery thread. Um, and it's also a little bit thinner. Uh, so if a six string embroidery thread is like too thick, get the crochet thread because it is much thinner. You don't have to, you know, pull off strands of your embroidery thread to get the thickness that you like for uh, your bows. Also, it might even be easier to stitch on layouts too, unless you want that big, thick um, six strand embroidery thread. I don't even know why I'm talking about stitching on layouts because I hardly ever do hand stitching on layouts. It's gotta be something pretty spectacular to get me to do that. Um, but I was thinking about that, so. Yeah, it's not gonna inspire me to, to do it, but I thought I might share that just because it was something that was running through my head. All right, guys, um, that is going to do it for this layout. Thanks so much for watching. Check out the playlist down below for everyone who's playing along with 30 Days of Sketches. There's a ton of people playing. Join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group so you can get your hands on Follow a Sketch February sketches. Um, those sketches are up from the past couple years. So, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.